Okay guys, so wanted to show you a lat pull down. So we've got some new equipment in the gym, really good for increasing our strict pull up strength. There are two ways that we can do our lat pull down, okay? The first way is gonna be using mainly our lats, and the second way is gonna be amazing, mainly using our Terry's Major. Why are we gonna use this machine? Uh, when we're doing strict pull-up work, if you've only got one pull-up, you've got half a pull-up, you can't do any strict pull-ups at all. This is a really good machine to get you to strengthen in the position of pulling weight down to you if you can't do any pull-ups. A lot of the time people are using bands to assist in getting themselves up, okay? That's really good for certain parts of our pull-up. When we're, our chin is over the bar, that's, we're really, really strong in that position using a band. But at the bottom, the band is doing all the work. In the lat pull-down, at the bottom, we're using the same amount of force as we are at the top, okay? So it's a really good way of increasing weight slowly to get ourselves really strong in the pull, okay? So the first way that we're gonna do that is using our lats. We wanna make sure that we are fully extended to stretch out our lats before coming into a flex position. In that bottom position, we wanna arch our back slightly to create as much lat engagement as possible. Our grip position stays the same. What we're trying to do is recreate our grip for our pull-ups. So rather than having our hands too narrow or taking our hands really wide, what we're trying to do is pull-up assistance. So on the pull-up bar, we're not gonna be doing kipping pull-ups or strict pull-ups with our hands really wide or really narrow. We wanna create the same amount. So roughly 1.5 shoulder width apart is a really good place to start for your lat pull-down. Okay, so that's the first way, engaging our lats. The second way is keeping a hollow position so our core is really tight and we're gonna be pulling down in front of ourselves, okay? We're still using our lats in that position but we're also recruiting our muscle which is slightly above our lats called our teres major, okay? Crossfitters, when they're doing a lot of kipping pull-ups are in extension a lot of the time when they're doing kipping butterflies, chest to bar pull-ups, uh, bar muscle-ups, etc. We want to make sure that we're strengthening ourselves in that hollow position as well as being in that extended position. So if you struggle to do strict chest to bar pull-ups, this could be a really good way of you getting those extra couple of reps. Again, we're making sure that our lats are fully stretched, but this time my rib cage is tucked down, so I'm in that nice hollow position, making sure my core is braced. And then you're going to bring your elbows out slightly in front of you and pull as far down as you can towards your chest or your sternum. For both types of pull downs, there are a couple of mistakes that people make. The first of which is going too heavy, okay? For a lot of people when they're doing strict pull ups, they don't feel it in their lats or in their back, they start to feel it in their biceps and in their forearms, okay? This is a really good exercise for you to create a mind-muscle connection and feeling that strength, that contraction in your lats and in your teres major, okay? So reduce the weight a little bit, Think about getting full range of motion and full contraction at the bottom. That way you're gonna get a much better contraction in your lats and your teres major. One way that we can help to do that is by using grips. If you find that your forearms are blowing up or your biceps are, put, are blowing up when you're doing lat pull downs, a really good way of doing that is using a weightlifting strap just to wrap around the bar. That way you're taking your, nice. So one way that you can do that is using a weightlifting strap. So wrap it around. That way, when I'm pulling, I'm taking my hands out of it. I can keep my hands nice and relaxed. And then from there, I'm pulling down with my elbows rather than pulling with my hands, which is gonna help us use our lats and our teres major a lot more.